Hey Scorps, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing amazing. So we're going to jump into this message. I'm not sure what's going to come out, everyone. So of course, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you have your notification bell on so that's where you'll know when I post readings or go live on the channel, okay? All right, so we're going to get into this message. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit, angels, guides, and divine ancestors, I welcome you into this reading for the sun sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits that's not of my highest good. Just here to destroy the energy. Return the energy back to sender tenfold. I say, I say, amen, amen. All right. So keep in mind, guys, there's only three slots left for the first half of the spiritual counseling reading. So if you're interested, make sure you get your order in by Friday the 17th. Okay. Of course, if anything changes, I will let you guys know on the community board. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on. Spirit, angels, guys, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Mm -mm, too many. <laughs> too many. What do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Well, wow. as you see, that says the ex. So the ex, an ex who's in question, love triangle or unfaithful. So this can be so many different things. So the overall energy is obviously about your ex. This person may have, have you in a third party situation or there's something about this person that spirit has wanted to bring to your attention. Bottom of the deck, we have thinking of you, crying, missing you, nostalgia, so whoever this ex is could be missing you, Scorpio. They have you in their thoughts. All right, so let's see what else is going on. All right, so tell us about this ex, which overall energy is the ex. <laughs> All right. Clarify the ex. What is it that Scorpio needs to know in regards to the ex? Take what resonates with you, leave the rest, okay? What is the X? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Okay, so two of pentacles. Tell me more. Seem like this ex is trying to decide on who to choose in their life or they have some type of decision to make someone could be trying to wear out their options mm. all right so we have the queen of wands here but i noticed this queen of wands is looking in a different direction away from the reading so this could be you or maybe a third party because it does say here love triangle hmm Hmm. What is the two of pentacles in the reverse when it comes to the X spirit? So I will find out if that is you, Scorpio, or could be a third party, okay? Someone who is a feminine uh, fire sign or have fire in their chart. Two of pentacles. Thank you. Yep. Third party here. Three of Pentacles. Someone is trying to figure out what should I do about a third party situation. Four of Cups also flew out as well. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. 
the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups. I'm here in La La Land. Someone is in La La Land. Someone is like really don't know what to do. They're confused or acting like they're confused or something. Someone is getting like almost like a wake up call in regards to like a third party situation that they have themselves involved in and they're trying to decide what they should do. This can be someone who's also depressed, could be struggling, going through hard times right now. But whoever this is, they're definitely thinking of you, Scorpio. Hmm. What is the Queen of Wands spirit? They're trying to make a decision. Should I do this? Should I do that? Mm. Should I stick with this third party or should I kind of like choose my own happiness? Hmm. What is the Queen of Wands when it comes to the ex? Thank you. So the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Tell me more. So strong fire signs here. Sagittarius Leo. Thank you. All right. So Ten of Swords. So you are this Queen of Wands here. So you may have uh, Aries Leo Sag in your chart. But strong Leo. Divine feminine energy, male or female. <sighs> hmm. Seem like someone is not happy with a third party, but they know they mess things up with you. And I know we've been hearing this type of energy for some time now. But um, this person was very wild and reckless and unattainable with you. And they sabotage the relationship with you, the divine feminine. And this ex is trying to figure out what should I do? I'm connected to the third party, but I don't feel like this person is happy in that situation. This person could be a uh, Sagittarius or have a strong of their chart. Wow. All right. So tell me about this third party energy. What is the three of pentacles? And of course, everyone take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Three of pentacles. Thank you. All right, so Knight of Swords. What is the Four of Cups in the reverse? Hmm. Thank you. The Queen of Cups in the reverse. So Cancer Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Whoever this person is, they're kind of like immature, childish, a karmic energy. Could be a Sagittarius Cancer. I'm getting with that Knight of Swords more of like a... Hmm. Maybe Aquarius. Hmm. This Knight of Swords is going in a different direction. I don't know if they're trying to leave this third party. But this is someone who seem like they're in a lot of sadness here, regret. This is definitely a karmic female or masculine, whoever it can be. Someone here is depressed, sad. This is like a very shallow person, superficial individual. Mm. This is someone who's like stuck in another situation, even though they've already walked away from you. Or they're sitting there thinking about what they have done. They're in that mental conflict. They're trying to figure out, what should I do? Hmm. Kind of like, should I bring another opportunity? Should I ask Scorpio? 
for another opportunity or start a new beginning in the soulmate connection. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. What is this Knight of Swords? Where is this Knight of Swords person running to? Charging at? What's the Knight of Swords? Thank you. They're coming towards a home, a family, something stable. Yeah, so this ex is trying to decide whether they should come towards you, whether they should leave this third party situation, take action to come towards something stable, more solid with you. Hmm. But they know the situation with you is already over. Hmm. Tell me about this Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this is Cancer energy. A karmic Cancer, feminine or masculine. Thank you. Queen of Swords. So we have a lot of people showing up here. But this person is this Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse, and this Knight of Wands. They are very like immature and childish and wild and shallow and reckless and superficial. Almost like someone is angry. Like they like have an angry spirit or something. But you are this Queen of Swords. You're not having it. You don't want this person around you anymore. Whether they're sad or depressed or whatever, you're you're not because it's like they're trying to come your way to have a conversation. They're trying to come in fast and see that Knight of Swords is walking away or leaving this Three of Pentacles. They're trying to leave like some type of situation they got going on, but because of their unhealed energy, childish energy, superficial energy not in love and light energy or just in their spirituality or just in a better state of mind. You're not trying to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So let's move to the other side. Of course, take what resonates with that and leave what doesn't. You both can have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in your chart. Yeah. Mm. To an extent, one side of them is like, I kind of accept things for what they are. You know, Scorpio doesn't want me around. Scorpio already told me how he or she feels. They already set some boundaries. Mm. Yeah. All right. So what is the Knight of Wands in the reverse? Oh, that's too many, too many, baby. Excuse me. Knight of Wands in the reverse. My acid reflux is acting up today, y'all. And we got the world card here. So there was already a cycle that closed with you and them because <clears throat> this person was too much for you. They were too wild and reckless and very unhealed. So you had to wrap this up. Everything kind of came full circle with this individual. Hmm. What's the Ten of Swords in the reverse for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, thank you. Six of Cups. Mm. Yeah, Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, this is someone is like, I messed up. I sabotage the relationship with Scorpio, being wild and being reckless, which caused things to close. The universe stepped in. But the Six of Cups, I feel like they're worried about reconciling with you. They're thinking about you. They're crying. They're missing you. I feel like you're this queen of uh, pentacles also. 
But the thing is, you see how you're not paying this person attention. It's like your attention is somewhere else on your home, children, finances, your career. I feel like you're not going to see this person coming your way that's wanting to make something work. Someone is now wanting to like match your energy with the King of Pentacles. So in between this King and Queen of Pentacles, there's like effort and putting in work and, you know, really trying to make an attempt. They're wanting to show how much they care, you know, feelings, emotions, coming with their emotions on their sleeve, expressing something to you. Hmm. Wow. That's what they're in their head about. Mm-hmm. About the past and what they have done. Tell me more about this world card. Of course, the world card is fixed signs. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. So I'm getting this is definitely a water sign here. Sagittarius or more of an Aquarius. What's the world card? Spirit, angels, and guys. Thank you. Yeah. Three of Cups in the reverse. It's over. It's done. You did too much damage. You sabotage a relationship with Scorpio. And it's done. It's over with. There's no reconciling here. Yeah. There's no coming back together. Mm. Wow. What's the Six of Cups, Spirit? I feel like too much damage has been done, to be honest. Oh, too many, too many. It's like this chapter is already finished. There's nothing else to be revived. What's the Six of Cups? I, I just feel like someone just did too much here. They did too much. The cycle was completed. It's closed. You you know, there was a lesson for you, lesson for this person. It's like move on to the next phase. Yeah. Yep. The full card. Aries energy in the reverse. This is someone who's not going to get another chance with you. They're not. They're not going to get another chance here. Hmm. All they can do is stalk and watch you in silence. Yeah. Hmm. This is someone who really made a complete fool out of themselves. And I and they know it. They know it. They sabotage something good with you. And reconciliation looks like it's not in the cards, even though that's what they want. And but I also sense, you know, in the past, the history of the relationship is they they just did too much they chose a third party they chose to be unfaithful now they got themselves in a situation they're trying to leave but the damage is already done between you and them they made a lot of foolish choices in the past made bad decisions that this door is not opening anymore for any type of reconciliation I feel like they know they done wrong hmm Wow. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have. So like I said, this person can be Aries, Cancer. I'm getting Aquarius, Sagittarius. Yeah. All right, gang. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.